Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about early repolarization syndrome. We'll talk about the definition, the symptoms, the causes, and of course, the treatment. It was previously known as benign early repolarization. And it was thought to be some normal condition that occurs in patients randomly and it has no increased risk. But recent studies suggested that it has increased risk of cardiac arrhythmias, especially ventricular types, and sudden cardiac death. In the ECG, you will see a characteristic elevation of the ST segment that occurs at the beginning of the ST segment, which is at the end of the QRS complex. This is known as the J point. It's also known as the J point notching. We don't know the exact cause of this syndrome, but we know that it has something to do with electrolyte disturbances and ion channels. So think of anything that would increase or decrease potassium, calcium, and other ions. Most of these patients are completely asymptomatic and they don't show any symptoms. And the diagnosis is often made incidentally. They would come complaining of some epigastric or chest pain. We do the ECG and we see these findings incidentally. For most of these patients, especially healthy ones, we don't need to give the patient anything. But if the patient has other factors increasing the risk of arrhythmia, such as old age, previous cardiac issues, or other comorbidities, you should consider giving the patient some medications to prevent the inevitable arrhythmia. So the condition itself is mild, but it can have some serious manifestations in certain patients. And it is your job to know which patients need the treatment and which ones don't. Our ECG course contains all the changes that can occur in an ECG, and it helps you become an ECG expert, so that you can recognize any ECG that you might come across. The course contains everything that might affect an ECG, all the symptoms, the causes, and of course the treatments. It also has plenty of quizzes to test your knowledge and make sure that you cement these informations and be able to answer any question about an ECG. You can access the course using the link in the description or in the pinned comment.